Before installing, please read through the instructions or watch this video in its entirety, and be sure to pause the video when necessary. Do not tilt the Sidekick on its side or upside down. Keep the Sidekick flat on the ground to avoid any damage to the unit. Make sure you have the following tools before attempting installation. Your stacking installation kit comes with these items. If you are installing the Sidekick washer to an existing washer and dryer pair, unplug your appliances from the wall outlet, disconnect the dryer vent duct, and shut off the cold and hot water supply. Once the water is turned off, disconnect the hoses from the supply. There will be some water remaining in the hoses, so have a towel or a bucket ready. Rotate the top cover of the Sidekick 180 degrees and using a Phillips screwdriver, use four of the small screws that came with your unit to mount the cover. Remove the six screws from each front leg supporter that came with the Sidekick. Then remove the leg supporters. Remember to keep the screws for later use. From the installation kit, take the right front leg supporter, which is labeled R, and screw them into place using the same screws. The new leg supporters only require 5 screws. Repeat the same steps for the left front leg supporter. Take the power interlock bracket from your kit and mount it over the stacking switch, which is located on the left rear leg supporter. Press down and insert the two black screws from your kit. With the assistance of another person, retract all four legs of the dryer and level all the feet. Then, lift the dryer and place it on top of the sidekick. Make sure that the legs of the dryer fit with the circles of each supporter. While facing the backs of the appliances, align the slots of the right bracket to the screw holes of the appliances. Screw two pointed screws into the sidekick and one pointed screw into the dryer. Then, insert one blunt screw into the supporter from the side of the bracket. Repeat the same steps for the left bracket. To connect the water supply to both the Sidekick and top load washers, connect two short hoses from your Sidekick washer installation kit to the hot and cold water lines. Then connect Y connectors to each of the short hoses and tighten firmly. Connect one long hose to the hot water inlet valve of the Sidekick and tighten firmly. And the other long hose to the cold water inlet valve. Connect the other end of the hot water hose to the hot water faucet's Y connector and connect the other end of the cold water hose to the cold water faucet's Y connector and tighten firmly. If you're installing a new top-load washing machine, connect both long hoses, which are supplied by your unit, to the hot water and cold water inlet valves. Connect the ends of the long hoses to the other side of the faucet's Y connectors, and tighten firmly. To connect the drain hoses of both your Sidekick and top-load washers, take the Sidekick washer's drain hose and connect the elbow end of the hose to the Sidekick washer drain. Use the provided clip to secure the end. Take the other end of this drain hose and connect it to the drain Y connector provided with your Sidekick washer. Use clips to tightly secure the ends. Then take the drain hose of your top load washer and attach it to the adapter drain hose from your kit. Use the clips to ensure secure fit at each connection point. This converts the larger drain hose from your top load washer to a smaller drain hole size of the Y connector. And then insert the Y connector into the drain. Use a tie strap around the drain hoses to keep them together and tie another strap to any water line for a secure attachment. In the special case you have a turbo seam dryer, instead of connecting the cold water hose of your sidekick to the Y connector, Connect the short hose from the dryer installation kit. Take the Y connector from your dryer kit and connect it to the end of the short hose. Connect the long hose to the steam dryer inlet valve and tighten. Then connect the other end of the long hose to one side of the Y connector and tighten firmly. 
Connect the cold water hose from the sidekick to the other end of the new Y connector. And finally, turn on the water faucets, check for water leaks, tie and secure the hoses, attach the dryer vent duct, plug in the units, and level all the feet. You are now ready to do laundry using your top load washer and dryer set with the Sidekick washer.